Hey everyone and welcome to the club. Today I'll be showing you how to draw a hook fang from How to Train Your Dragon. Let's get started at the very top of our page with the eyes. So I'm going to move over to the left side and draw on the upper eyelid. I'm going to start on the outside. I'm going to curve in and then just pull that down. I'm going to leave a gap in the center and do the same thing on the right side. So let's line this up, curving up and then out. Let's draw on the lower eyelid. So we're going to connect these two points with another curve. Starting from the outside, we're going to curve down and then pull that up. We'll do the same thing on the right. Along the top on the inside, we're going to draw two small half ovals for the pupil. Starting from the left side, we're going to curve down and then back up. Now let's draw on the thick eyelid. From the outside corner on the left, we're going to curve up. And we're going to pull that down on the inside. We're not going to connect the end. We're just going to stop right about there. Let's do the same thing on the right. Starting from the inside, curve up, and then pull that down on the outside. Now let's draw on the lower eyelid. Starting from the outside corner again, curve down, and we're going to pull that up and in. Let's connect the top of the head. From the ends of the line, we're going to step up, curve down, and then back up on the right. Underneath each eye, we're going to curve out the side of the head. Starting on the left, curve down and out, toward the left, and then the right. Let's draw on the top of the mouth. Starting from the left side, we're going to curve in and then down and towards the center. Now we're going to round out the center and go back up and out towards the right. Let's connect the corners of the mouth with the lower jaw. Starting on the left side, we're going to curve down and in towards the middle. We'll go back up towards the right. Now in this area here, we're going to add the nostrils. So we move over towards the left. We start on the inside, we're going to curve up and out, and then we'll hook that back in. We take that and flip it over on the right side. So let's line up the inside, curving out, and then hooking that back in. Let's add the inside of the nostril. Stepping in, we're going to curve out towards the left. We're going to round it out and pull that back in towards the starting point. We'll fill that in black. Let's do the same thing on the right side. Stepping in, curving out, rounding out the end of the nostril, and then pulling that in. We'll fill that in black. Now we're going to add the top bridge of the nose. We're going to leave a gap in the center. On the left side, we're going to curve up and in towards the middle. Now right here, we're going to add a socket, curving down and then back up. We're going to continue that curve over towards the right nostril. Let's add that spike in the center. From that top corner on the left, we're going to curve up. And we're just going to hook that over towards the right. We're going to make our way down towards the right corner, coming down. On the outside of the nostril, we're going to draw a short curve, going out and then down, aiming towards the corner of the mouth. Now we're going to add some teeth along the edge of the mouth. We're going to start on the left side. On the corner of the mouth, we're going to curve up and then in. Now we're going to hook that back out and then down. We're going to do the same thing on the right side. Let's add some smaller teeth on the inside. Starting from the left, we're going to leave a gap, curving up and in, then hooking that down. We'll do the same thing on the right side. Now we're going to leave a gap and draw another tooth. Again, leaving another gap, we'll draw another one. Now we're just going to continue this in towards the center. We're going to go a little bit smaller on the inside. Now we're going to move back up and draw on the horns. So we're going to start on the left side. On the side of the eye, we're going to curve down and then out. We're going to step back and curve out in the opposite direction. Now from this tip, I'm going to work my way around that point. Curving in, and we're going to go around that point, and we're going to round this out, and curve it up in behind the eye. Let's take that and flip it over on the right. Start with the curve going down, and then out. We're going to step back, go in, and then back out. We're 
gonna taper this around that corner, round up the end, and pull it in towards the side of the eye. Let's add two horns along the top of the eyes. Starting from the left side, we're gonna curve out, and then hook that back in. Now from the tip, I'm gonna taper back in behind the eye. So it gets a little bit thicker as we come back. Take that and flip it over. Now we're gonna add some ridges along the horns. Starting from the left side, we're just gonna draw a curve going up and then down. Leave a gap, draw that same curve. Go up again, draw one more. We'll do the same thing on the right. Let's add some ridges along the side horn. Stepping out, curve out and then back in. Do that one more time. Now we're gonna go up in the opposite direction. We're gonna go up from the left and down on the right. Do one more along the top. Let's do the same thing on the right. Now that we have the head, let's work our way down the body. So I'm gonna shift the body over towards the left side. So leaving a gap for the neck. On the left side, we're gonna curve down and out towards the left. We're gonna round out the belly along the bottom. Now I'm gonna curve around up towards the right side. Now coming up towards the neck, we're gonna hook this back out towards the right. Let's add some ridges along the neck. On the left side, we're gonna leave a gap. Just draw a short curve. We'll step down a slightly longer curve, and then one more just below it. From here, we're gonna move down and draw on the outside of the leg. So on the left side of the body, we're gonna curve out. Now we're just gonna hook that back in. Do the same thing on the right, going out, and then hooking that in. Let's draw the inside of the leg. Underneath the body, we're gonna hook it down and out on both sides. From the inside of the leg, we're going to draw the first claw, curving in and then down. Now we're going to work our way to the second claw. From this point, we're going to taper up and then hook that down. From here, let's add a point, curving up and then in. Now we're going to add the third claw. From this point, we're going to step out, curving across and then down. Now we're gonna pull that back in towards the top of the foot to right about there. Let's do the same thing on the right. Now we're gonna draw on the outside of the leg. From this point, we're gonna curve in and up underneath the thigh. Let's separate out the claws. On this claw, we're just gonna draw a short curve. Along here, we'll draw that same curve. Now on the toe part, we're gonna draw a curve in the opposite direction. Now we're gonna move up and draw on the wings. So on the side of the body, we're gonna curve around the leg. Going out and then down. From the tip of the wing, we're gonna curve out and up. Going out, now we're just gonna pull that into right about there. We're gonna do the same thing on the right. Going out and then hooking that back in. We're gonna add a few points along the wing. From here, we're gonna taper it in and down. We're gonna go back up and out again. Do the same thing on the right. Now hooking it back in and up. We're gonna come down towards the top of the arm. Now we're gonna pull this in just to right about there. From this point, we're gonna step up to create an overlap. We're gonna curve up and then in. We're gonna draw a short hook coming back out. Let's do the same thing on the right. Stepping up, bring that in short hook going out. Now the top of the arm is going to go in behind the neck. Let's add a couple claws along the bottom of the wing. Starting from this point, we're going to hook this out and down. Now we're going to taper this back up in behind the wing. From that same point, we're going to draw one more. Curving out and down, hooking up and then in. Let's do the same thing on the right.
Now the last thing we're gonna do is add the tail going around and then back in front. Starting from the inside corner on the left, we're gonna curve down, in behind the right leg. We're gonna continue this around the foot. Now right here, we're gonna curve this around. Running it out, going in front, and then down. Now from this point, we're gonna taper this tail in behind the body. So it gets a little bit thicker as we come around. It's thicker around that turn. And we're gonna pull this in behind this claw. And we'll continue on the inside, in behind the right leg. Now we're gonna add a few points along the back of the tail. Let's start in this little gap here. Start with the hook going up and out, and then tapering it back in. On the outside, do that same thing. Leave a gap and draw one slightly smaller one on the outside. And that's pretty much it. There we have it. There's Hook Fang from How to Train Your Dragon. I hope you enjoyed today's lesson. Make sure you subscribe and send me your requests in the comments below. Thanks for watching and we'll see you again soon.